to be at this point in the game. No! John! Rob, yo. You don't want to hit. She filled your ass out, man. That shit. Read it perfectly. Knew you can try to throw it to him. Oh, man, man. Y'all doing me right. You have to react to this stadium, man. Spread the bitch ass stadium, man. Come on. I ain't got time for this. What up, people? Y'all know who it is and what it is. It's the superhero of YouTube, your boy Jay. And me and Ronnie Lott would like to welcome you all to London, where it goes down at. This is the first round of the SCMM, the Sports Commentators March Madness. And this is a Madden Ultimate Team gameplay that you all are seeing. That's why you see a bunch of legends out there doing their thing. I would like to introduce you all to my core five. And it's only right that I start off with Get Loose Moose, Shannon Sharp. He's going to show you all how he gets loose on him. Get Loose Moose. Shannon Sharp about to get this nice touchdown pass. Next is going to be Curtis Marty Mar Martin from the Five Heart Beats Cocaine Eddie Knight Train. Cast the Ghost. And the last one is the three-star No Fingers Jerry Rice. Because he drops every single pass you throw towards his way. I don't know what I was thinking by sending Patrick Willis on his blitz. I made a mistake. I should have kept him in his zone. But hey, you live and you learn, right? Right now you're about to see my boy Curtis Marty Mar doing his thing. One of the most underrated, underused card in Madden Ultimate Team. And just like Kevin Hart said, you're going to learn today. Y'all better pay attention to Curtis Martin. So right now, Grandma's like, yo, coach, it's 7-7, seven and seven, second quarter, third and six. Put me in the game. Let me show you some moves that I learned in Dancing with the Stars. So as you can see in the top right-hand corner, he hits him with the Harlem Shake. Do the salsa back up the field. He gets the first down for me. Do your thing out there, Graham. Let's go. So with that great run by Graham, it put us in a great position for another great run by Curtis Marty Mar. Curtis Marty Mar Martin doing his thing. Nights like this, I wish that raindrops would fall. Cocaine Eddie is out there about to make his appearance on the field, but as you can see to the top right hand corner of the screen, it was clearly not an interception, but it's Cocaine Eddie doing his thing like he always does. Excuse me sir, can I please take your order? Yes, I would like to have the house fried rice with no fingers, because I do not like fingers whenever I'm playing with my Jerry Rice. Three star card just dropping everything on the field. So that was the end of the first half. We're in the second half, and I'm about to try to get loose with Moose. But Ray Lewis said, I'm about to put a stop to all this talk. I'm about to try to get loose on you and try to house this. As you hear my boy in the back screaming, old oh, man, Marty Marr said, hold up a second. My name Marty Marr. I'm about to try to chase him down. So right now, we're going to need to clean up at aisle eight. As you can see in the top right-hand corner of the screen, Chris Johnson thought he had something here, but... <laughs> Nights like this, I wish raindrops would fall. Night Train was there to clean him up, to take care of all of that. And as you can see, Get Loose Moose is back on the field. After that turnover, we turn turnovers into points whenever we're playing with my team. So after two fumbles by Chris Johnson, he decides to put in Emma Smith, which was a great decision by him because Emma Smith is wide open, touchdown Cowboy. After that great drive by Emma Smith, I realized that I needed to kill the clock. He was able to get the ball back and was able to drive the ball down the field again. He needs this in order to tie the game up. He tries to pitch to the right, but I'm sorry. Ronnie Lott is there to clean it up. So I got the ball back. I was able to kill the clock. As you can see to the top right-hand corner of the screen, he was basically inches away from maybe stopping me, getting the ball back, and possibly having a chance to win a game. But I'm sorry it's not going to happen like that because Casp the Ghost is going to do his thing. Anyway, people, I hope you all enjoy the game. I'm pretty sure I'm going to see you all in the second round. So until the next video, it's your boy Jay, and I am is out. We got Le Paris 57. Hey, he was nice. I liked his video. Is it, is it Le Paris? I don't know. No, it's Le Paris. Yo, what's good, people? This your boy Authentic973. This your boy Love Paris57 on YouTube. The best nigga making beats since the best nigga making beats, aka Mr. Click Clack. Bang. Y'all already know. I'm bringing y'all NBA 2K13. 
This is my team right here. As you see, I drive to the cup and get the nice layup with Dwight. It's a short commentary, so we're going to get right into it. You see, I started us from the fourth quarter right here. Dude is up um, by 1, 55-56. I have on the Brooklyn Nets uniform. I'm from Jersey, so I got on the throwback Nets Jersey uniforms. As you see, Gerald Green with the drive. He should have got the M1, but he's going to the stripe. Of course, I bangs both. I ain't going to show y'all the... The free throws, but you see Gerald Green gets the nice pass from Dwight and throws it down. Oh, my gosh. Ge get yourself a Gerald Green. He's a beast, yo. Especially in my team. So, if you don't have that much VC, buy yourself a Gerald Green. He, he plays ball out there. As you see, dude come down and pulls another three. He was All he was doing was pulling threes. That type of player you can beat all the time. As you see, it's 60 to 59. I'm up. Oh, look at Chris Wilcox with the nice layup. Anybody that watch my videos, they know it's a couple people on my team I would not get rid of for nothing. And that's Chris Wilcox, Gerald Green, and Gerald, Jared Dudley, excuse me. But as you see, he's trying to get this three-pointer popping as usual. I get the steal right there. I knew he was going to pass it to that guy. DJ Augustine pushing it, passes it to Wilcox. Wilcox fumbles the pass and gets fouled. Wilcox is going to bang both of these. He was rumbling the controlling a thing on some gay shit. Y'all already know. Here we go. Wilcox bangs them both. Get yourself a Chris Wilcox. For real. You know what I'm saying? Oh, nice steal again by Gerald Green. Gerald Green passes it to Dwight. Dwight to Augustine. Augustine to Clay Thompson. Let's go. Let's go. That's how you that's how you run the fast break, especially on my team. When all these dudes do is the, the lateral movement three-point shit. You know what I mean? He pulls another three. Out of bounds. Let's go. Let's go. Let's get that ball back. You see, it's one minute left. The score is 66 59. As you see, I got the ball. Gerald Green's driving, passes it to Wilcox. Wilcox to Dwight. Dwight to Thompson. Thompson trying to get the drive popping. Nothing. Passes it to Wilcox. And Wilcox, a man down there. And he gets the hard, tough layup. Let's get it. Let's get it. He passes it to Aminu. Now, personally, I never knew Amino could shoot. But apparently Amino got a three-pointer in my team. I think everybody can shoot in my team. But he bangs the three. And we're going to start playing the foul game. So as you see, it's seven seconds left. That's pretty much the game, folks. It's 69-62. He's still pulling threes, still making threes. But that's pretty much the game, folks. But this is the uh, Sports Commentator March Madness. I'm your boy, LePage57. Y'all can comment, like, subscribe. Y'all can follow me on Twitter, at Authentic973. Vote for your boy. I want to thank those guys for allowing me to be one of the 64. And hopefully I make it to the next round. Thank y'all for watching. Y'all know how I end my shit. Bang.